Hello. Hi. Good morning. Uh, it's probably not morning when you're seeing this, but it's fine. It's fine. Um, I'm going to be as short as possible. Um, when I talk, when I get passionate, I just keep on going and going, but I'm going to make it as short as possible. Three minutes. Three minutes. But, okay. So, my name is Catalina. Catalina Cruz. I'm 17 years old. Um, most of my friends, they call me Cat. My family calls me Gati. I'm Hispanic. Um, I'm Puerto Rican. Um, I was born in Massachusetts, but I was raised in Coastal, Pennsylvania. Um, I would say right now, who I am right now, I would say I'm, I'm very encouraging, empowering. I love to lead. I love to serve. I love to serve so much, man. I just, I always give my time as much as I can. Um, I just, I'm, I'm, re I'm really big on empowering and encouraging others that don't have hope. Um, I want to speak to you a little bit of who I used to be though. Um, I used to be really shy. I used to be really insecure. Um, I had no idea what having a passion or a purpose was, um, I just felt so low, and because the reason why I was feeling that way is because um, at the age of eight, my father got um, incarcerated for a couple of things, and a couple of months after that, my mom and dad got a divorce, and so many other things happened that were so tragic and traumatizing, and it really affected my life and affected how I was in school. I was really acting out in school. Um, I used to get bullied because of how I looked, and like it was just so many things that were going on, and I just didn't know how to handle it as a kid. You know, I'm um, just mind you, I'm eight years old going through all of this, and it, and and I didn't find my identity. I didn't find my worth until I was 10, no, not 10, I was 12, tw about 12, um, and that was in eighth grade, actually, I was probably 13, yeah, I was probably 13, <laughs> I was 13, um, I, in eighth grade, I found, I started to work on who I was, because I didn't want to create the cycles that my mom and dad had in their lives, and what their parents had, and so, and so on, but I wanted to change, I wanted, I wanted to do something different, and, like, so now, like, I've, sorry, I don't want to get emotional, but, like, it's, it was really hard for me growing up, and now that I see that, there's potential within, within all of us and that we could all make it. We could all make our dreams, our, our passions a reality. Like my passion, my passion is to ultimately serve. Like I don't care about anything else, but just empowering people and giving others hope. Cause I know what it is to not have hope. I know what it is to cry yourself to sleep. I know what it is to not know what's going on, to be so confused about life, to have suicidal thoughts. I, I know how that feels. And I feel like my future is so bright because I conquered, I conquered all the statistics that said that I'll end up like my mom, my dad. I conquered so many things that happened and people that said about me. And this is why I'm applying for the scholarship because I really want to grow and I, me going to Awakening Leadership Center in Rhode Island, um, I feel like it's going to catapult my growth so I could come back to my community and teach them what I'm teaching. And I ultimately just, just to hurry up, I just ultimately want to empower people. I just want to encourage those who are so lost and i just i just pray that you guys see this video and i pray that you call me back um i'm so happy to con like talk to you guys i'm gonna say my number at the bottom but um I, I i have more to say just just trying to keep it in three minutes all right see you later